just recently I found another Fortran compiler we can use. As you can see, GFortran is not yet installed on this system. So do a web search on Strawberry Pearl. We can install the 64-bit version, which is what we probably all want anyway. I have edited out delays and stuff. So we're beginning to download. We're finished downloading. We do all the usual stuff. We say yes to all of the questions. We click on the appropriate things to install stuff. It installs it. The install is actually pretty quick. Agree to all of the usual things to agree to. And then I'm going to open up an editor. I've edited out me fumbling around as to whether it's now WordPad or Notepad or whatever pad that it is. I've opened up a command prompt with CMD. Previously, GFortran was not there, but it is now. It's complaining that I didn't give it any input files, but it is there. So I'm going to use some convenient editor, notepad or wordpad or whatever it worked out to be, in order to make a source file that I'll call test.f90. This is going to be the usual thing that you start with. I'm going to print hello world out to the screen. I was doing this on a very old, very bad laptop, the keyboard of which was atrocious. So my typing is even worse than usual. Luckily, this isn't going to go on for very long. Save your work. Out of force of habit, I usually close the editor. You probably don't really need to do that. There's the source file that I just created. I'm going to compile it. I'm going to turn it into an executable using gfortran and the file name. After a bit of fumbling around, most of which I've edited out, I hope, I see that I still have my source file, but I'm also going to have a.exe, which is the executable. So to run the program, I type a.exe. Hello world shows up on the screen. I'm going to make another source file called test2. I'm actually going to calculate something in this one. I'm going to do the sum i equal 1 to n of 1 over i squared. There's going to be some D0 stuff running around. That tells the compiler there's absolutely no doubt about it. The number that you're talking about is in double precision format. So 1.0 D0 is 1.0 times 10 to the 0 power in double precision, which is just 1. Also, in this little bitty program, I'm going to have a loop. I have to have a loop counter, an integer, which I'll call i. I'm going to have a running sum, which I'll call s. The way you raise something to a power in Fortran is with two asterisks. And the other only point of interest in what I'm about to do is that dble is how you cast to double precision if you want to use C language terminology. So I'm going to go around in the loop 
a billion times each time I'm going to increase s by an amount 1 over i squared. I go around until I've done this a billion times, then I print the answer out. So 3 billion floating point operations are going to get done here. And as I said, I was doing this on a really old, really bad computer. So it'll take it a little bit to do the 3 billion floating point operations. First, you have to compile the source code. Then you run it by saying a.exe. We used to have an a.exe from the other source program but we have overwritten it. If I run the program a.exe, I can do that just by typing a, and shortly my result comes up.